You can trim it up if it needs to trim it up. Masking tape reduction. How are you doing there, Dustin? Uh, Masking tape reduction. How are you doing there, Dustin?
moment of truth. There it is. So we've arrived here. Where's what, what would you describe your location as here? What's the township? Where are we closest to? Brogan. Brogan. world. Um, I'm Mr. McLeod of um, Highlands Middle School and also, if you haven't uh, been on my channel before, of Wacky Freaky Science. Um, I just want to thank you for watching our video. We um, worked on this for many, many, many months. Um, it started as a, a previous balloon launch. We took what we learned from that balloon launch and what parts we wanted to ring over and rebuilt a new frame made out of, as you probably saw in the video, this plexiglass material. And um, we were able to mount four GoPro cameras, uh, temperature and pressure sensors. And um, I know you're wondering, well, where's all this temperature and pressure data? We have so much to go through still. But the big, big, big thing for this is we now have a huge amount of material and data to bring back to our classroom, show our students, and um, for them to be able to look at the models of the atmosphere using real world data that we were able to collect on the ground. Um, that's how we do things over at Highlands um, in Kennewick. We uh, try and try and try to uh, create um, scientific opportunities through demonstrations and labs that are um, that really push the boundaries. Um, and you know we could not do that without um, an administrator, administrative staff, and supportive staff, or you know the other people we work with to. Um, to provide such an open environment for us to be able to explore these ideas and you know really test out um, new ways of doing science education. Um, um, the other people on my team that I work with and you, you saw in the video, uh, Mr. Andrew Cooper and Mr. Dustin Smith, they're also science teachers that I work with at Highlands Middle School and um, we work, tend to work collaborative, collaboratively on a lot of these projects. Um, other people I have to thank because, I mean, we would have never made it off the ground or even to where we're going without them. Um, first is Oxart Gas. Um, it's a company here in Kennewick that um, sells, you know, tanks of propane, butane, um, liquid nitrogen, such things. And they have donated gas to us on multiple occasions for our science demonstrations. And um, this, I mean, there was no way we would be able to afford a balloon launch if we were paying the price of helium and so I mean that's been a huge I mean Oxark you make science happen um, finally the family at the end of that video um, you may have seen that we uh, you know it, it, it kind of seemed like it was in the middle of nowhere and it was we uh, we drove down to some you know rocky pass that looked like it was in the path of our balloon and um, about once we started heading up the path um, we were intercepted by a farmer who said, 
hey, uh, there's no way you're going to be able to get to that. And so we said, okay, okay. Um, but, you know, we're going to try anyway. And uh, what ended happening is he uh, he came along in his four-wheel uh, little um, vehicle and picked up myself and <laughs> a lot of um, the team that we had there, as well as his two children on this little tiny four-wheeled vehicle, and took us up the mountain through a rock path you would think would only be good for, like, you know, a mule team or something. Um, and, you, you know, you can imagine it was you know, tabletop mountains where you could imagine like a, a cowboy silhouetted against the sun in an old western. This is middle of nowhere, rattlesnakes, you know, um, animal carcasses up in the mountains. It was great, but it was extremely difficult to travel. Um, we, we climbed probably 2,000 feet um, in this little vehicle. Anyway, after three and a half hours of searching for uh, the payload, we found it. And uh, yeah, if it had not been for those, for that family, we would have been, uh, we'd probably still be there <laughs> looking for our payload, or we would have given up by now. Um, so yeah, thank you very much. Um, please, if you get the opportunity, subscribe to Wacky Freaky Science at the bottom of the uh, YouTube channel, our YouTube page here. Um, we do lots of things. Uh, we've done, you know, uh, supersonic ping pong ball launchers. We've done, um, you know, imploded 50 gallon barrels. We do so lots of stuff with liquid nitrogen. I mean, you you name it, we've done it. And we are trying a lot of things that you don't see as much on the internet. Things that um, we've just thought up ourselves. And uh, so stay tuned. I mean, um, if you're one of my students, please continue to watch. This is your resource. If you're a science enthusiast like myself, watch for the fun of it.